Hey guys, it's Susie in the coffee shop. No makeup. You haven't seen me in a while, but it's summertime. The living is easy, and I have my toddler with me today. So let's see how this video recording goes. Anyway, I wanted to just take a minute to step in and um, revisit a topic that was really popular when I first, you know, got my channel going like a year and something ago, um, and that was seesaw. How seesaw and canvas can connect. But at that time, it was very limited in how you could connect them. It's still not like a direct integration or anything, but I have two new tips, one of which was shared with a viewer, and then the other one we've kind of seen Seesaw develop as the areas go on. So I wanted to give you a couple different workflows that you could visit for if you want to use Seesaw and Canvas. Before I do that, I want to just remind you why you would want to use them both. Seesaw is your suite of creative tools. Canvas just doesn't do the creativity that Seesaw does, but... You want to simplify your life and see and grade everything in one place. So have I got ideas for you. Stay tuned. So what I showed you in the last video still works. I just wanted to add some other tips. And honestly, this has been on my mind for like a year and I haven't gotten it done. So anyway, if you want to see my previous workflow, pause the video right here or you can come back later and scan the QR code. Now Seesaw has done a great job in the last year or so of organizing itself better for kids to find things. So like they can see things that they have to do. Now I'm logged in as a teacher, I don't have that view here, but they can see what they have to do or what's in draft mode. So I'm loving all the new features in Seesaw. But one thing that would help you if you wanna connect, semi-connect Seesaw on Canvas and you want kids to know exactly where to go is right here where it says Butterfly Life Cycle or whatever the activity is you wanna share I'm in the activities tab. I'm gonna click the three dots and then just go do get student link. And this is going to directly send a kid to this page. So now if I'm in Canvas and I want to, let me go to a pretend course and let me pause while I do that. So if I want to send that to kids, maybe, you know, I have a weekly module and I put a page in that module or a daily module. It says, hey, I want you to do Seesaw whatever. Then I'm going to call this Seesaw Activity. And I'm going to say, go here to complete your activity. Now with a page, okay, and I can put the link there, or I can do, if you don't know this trick, I can highlight, do control K, and that'll bring up quickly a link box, and I can say done, and they could do it that way too, okay? Remember, if you see a blank, you have a link. And at minimum, I would have the kids, you know, I would add that to the students to do. So I would put it on the calendar and say, this is due whatever day, okay? So that at least they're aware that this is something they need to complete. But if you really want it to be like an assignment or something, you know you want to give credit, but you want to give the credit here in Canvas, then you would do that same process of making it an assignment. But then when it comes to submitting something, you know, my previous workflow had them send their link here. Instead, you could just do a text box entry and just tell them, go here to complete the activity give them whatever the activity is and then say type done in the box and submit when finished. Now you won't be able to see that work here like you can in my previous workflow, but you're getting them to the correct place and then they're letting you know when they're, you're ready to check it. So if you wanna still manage Seesaw separately, you can, but if you're trying to do something a little bit simpler, it puts a little more of the onus on them then um, it will, you know, give them where to go and then have them have them tell you it's done. You can still check it in Seesaw. So that's one workflow. Stay tuned for another one. This next idea is more about making the login page for Seesaw accessible. So it's not really going to change your workflow. It just gives the kids basically a shortcut. If you're using something like Clever already in your district that's like a single sign-on, this one you may not even need. But let me show you what it is just in case. Um, so basically we're going to put a shortcut on the course navigation bar over to the left and the way you do that is you're going to go to the word settings. You are going to click the word apps which is the fourth tab over for me. I'm on free canvas, yours might be a little different and I'm going to search for the word redirect and I want to thank a viewer for showing me this. I don't know when it first came out and I didn't add it to my video at that time because it really doesn't simplify your canvas workflow but I do love that it gets the kids there faster. If that's what you need, hey this will work for you. So I'm going to do add app, and when I do, it's going to ask me for a URL, and I want to use the main Seesaw URL. So I'm logged in here, but I need to log out. So I'm going to tap here, go to settings, and sign out, because I don't want the kids, nothing will happen if they try to go to mine. So I just want to get to the login page. I'm going to go back to Canvas, and I'm going to paste that here. 
Okay, and notice it has a double HTTPS, so make sure you delete that. And then it's asking your settings. Do you want to force it open in a new tab? It's totally up to you. I like that. I do want to show it in course navigation, and that's where I'm going to leave it. You can check the other boxes and see what you think. And I'm going to call it Seesaw, and I'm going to add the app. Okay. And so now I may have to refresh the page. But now Seesaw is over in my left navigation, and it'll be there for the students. And remember, if I go to my navigation under settings, I can drag Seesaw to whatever place I want it to be in my navigation. So if I know I'm gonna use it a lot, maybe I'm gonna put it right under grades, and then save, and then it would move closer to the top for students. So if you just need a quick way for them to get to Seesaw, that's gonna be an option for you. And you can combine the two tips I just showed. So maybe you need them to get to Seesaw in general and log in. Then maybe also at different times when I have them directly access an assignment, you've got two ways to do that. So again, go back and watch the old video if you wanna see my favorite way to connect the two. Um, but these are some other tips I've learned. I hope they help. And if they have, please let me know in the comments below. Hey guys, I put my heart into these videos, so I hope you loved it. I hope you've loved all of them, but if you haven't, then make sure you go back and watch the previous videos. I'm making playlists for you all the time. So if you're somebody who wants time savers, there's a playlist for that. If you want to gamify, playlist for that. And all of my themes of my blog. So did you like it? Go ahead and click the thumb below. If you really liked it, I'd love if you shared it on your favorite social media channel. I'm at Suzy Lolly on Twitter. And then finally, my very favorite is if you subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube and subscribe on the blog. Take care.